Hello, Kjo Lee, Crochet Basics, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a cape. Uh, something for fall, a wrap, you can call it a wrap or a poncho or whatever, but I'm calling it a cape because it uh, opens. It's not fully around uh, like a poncho. All right, so for this one, uh, it's the basic stitches, single, uh, half double, and a double, and some chaining. And um, let's see. If you're newer to crochet, but you know how to, you got the basics down, just a scrap yarn, a stitch marker, and then a regular stitch marker um, will do you. You can adjust this one to add in more buttons or for length. With the length, uh, work those stitches in the double crochets, and that'll keep the, uh, the neck and collar. The, the cowl part, the neck part, um, uh, with the right shape. So you need two hooks. Uh, I got an I-9, a 5.5 millimeter, and I got an H-8, U.S. sizes, 5 millimeter, and we're chaining in the I, and then we're changing over to the H. All right, I'm going in in uh, a size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn. Um, whatever you want to work it in, work it in something fancy, and uh, then you have like a super nice, you know, wrap for going out and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna chain. So if you do a slip knot, I don't. I do a little crossover on my hook. All right, so we're gonna chain 51 on this one. So let's let's get this going. 51 chains. And I'm in the wrong hook. <laughs> Here we go. All right, 51 chains. Okay. I'm going to change my hook to the H. So uh, in chaining in the bigger hook, it just helps your starting um, chain and your starting rows to lay flatter. Okay, and you can do that with other patterns too, of course. It does help, um, you know, with the tension and stuff like that. All right, so row one, we're gonna work 12 single crochets. So you're gonna skip over that first chain closest to the hook and you're going to work 12 single crochets. Okay, so now we're going to work um, six half double crochets. So you'll yarn over, you'll push through, yarn over again, pull through, you have three on the loop, and you'll pull straight through all three. All right, so that's a half. So you'll do six of those. Now from here, I'm just going to add a scrap yarn stitch marker. And this is just to separate so that when I'm working back, it helps, my, uh, it helps me keep count and know, you know where I'm going to change up my stitch. So from here down, you're going to work a double crochet, and it should be uh, 32 double crochets for the rest of this. All right, so a double crochet. You'll yarn over, you push through, yarn over, pull up a loop, you have three, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two. All 
Okay. All right. Let's get these double crochets in. Come on, girl. And you don't want too tight on the tension. You want it like you want it flowing and loose. I don't even know if I said you need a button, at least one button, because that's how we're going to close this up. But you can adjust for more buttons. So you can adjust by for length with the double crochets. And then I'll show you how we'll make the button loop. And then if you wanted to add more buttons in, you could do that too. But the only thing I suggest is that you don't mess with like the neck, uh, the cowl part, the single crochets and the half double crochets because um, then it could start getting a bit fakakted and not, you know, sit right and stuff like that. All right, so now row two, we're going to work opposite. So we're going to chain two, turn our work and back loop only. So the, the side of the braid that's furthest away is where you're going to go is where you're going to go into. So you'll do your double crochets and you can just do them right up. You should have 32, but you can do them right up to where your um, scrap yarn stitch marker is. I think I had too much caffeine. Can't seem to pick up my stitches very well today. Oh, well, right now. <laughs> so this whole piece is uh, back loop only for the whole thing for all the rows. Okay, so you'll move your scrap yarn stitch marker to keep your place and then you'll work six half double crochets, six half doubles. Now you'll work your um, 12 single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch, and you'll chain one and turn your work. So it's, it, it works out. It starts to bow out on the bottom. So this is the neck. This is where your shoulders are. And then that's where uh, your bust or your chest is. All right. So now for row three, we're going to repeat what we did for row one. With uh, 12 single crochets, six half doubles, and the rest uh, 32 uh, double crochets if you did uh, the count that I did and in back loop only. All right, six half doubles. Okay. 
move your scrap yarn and that just uh, helps and then as you move it you know because you don't need it to be the whole length of the piece you can just stick a um a regular scrap yarn uh, a regular uh stitch marker in if you if you need it for later on all right so then you'll work your 32 or however many half uh, double crochets till you get to the end of the row so if you haven't please subscribe I have other tutorials up there um, all different kinds of tutorials I guess for crocheting And I have more advanced patterns up on uh, like Etsy's and stuff like that. So now from here we're going to work two um, half rows. Well, I'm calling them half rows, but they're they're almost full rows. <laughs> All right. So you'll chain two and turn your work. All right. So you're going to work one double crochet in each till you get to your stitch marker there, and uh, and I'll meet you there. One double crochet, back loops only. Alright, so now from here, you're going to work one half double crochet in the next five stitches, not six, the next five stitches. This is how we're making the uh, pleat or the, um, the increase to make the bottom bigger. Alright, so do one half double crochet in the next five stitches. Now you'll work one single crochet in the next, chain one, turn your work. And it's going to look crazy at first, but once you get a few more rows in with the increase like that, the half row, it, 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 um, it'll look less crazy <laughs> is what, it'll, what will happen. All right, so row five, that was row four, so now we're in row five. So row five, we chained one, we turned our work. You're going to work one single crochet in the first, one half double crochet in the next five stitches. You'll move your scrap yarn stitch marker, okay? And then you'll continue on working your, um, your double crochets. For, the, for this row and then I'll, I'll meet you back so that you know you're not sitting here for no reason so if you're working it along with me you can you know pause and you can always uh, stop and you know go back and stuff whatever it is to um, get it going for you and on this one I was thinking like you know if you do like a, a really like a fancy pretty yarn and stuff like that it's a nice cover-up like for when you're going out or something or like you know if you go into like a wedding or you know, something fancy. And then if you do it in like, you know, whatever your favorite color is or whatever, then it's like everyday wear. So you'll chain two, you'll turn your work. And now we're gonna work, um, we're gonna work all the way back up. We're gonna work a full row all the way back up. So I'll meet you after the double crochets and I'll show you how we're gonna do. But um, that's what it looks like. So that's what that looks like after the first set of um, half rows.
All right, so now we're going to go back into our double, our half doubles. Okay, so you're going to do a half double 